Hi, so welcome to another episode of Fun Mathematics. Right, so today is uh, the fourth episode, and I, I was quite quite busy lately, so I didn't have time to uh, do any any episode before that. So um, after some time, we, today we are going to talk about infinite series meaning that we will, we will continue with our talks about, about calculus and uh, analysis. So, so this is um, one part of analysis I particularly like and today we are going to speak about a uh, series of uh, non-negative terms yeah, meaning that all terms will be non-negative. Okay, so so what what is a series? Uh, we have some some sequence of numbers a a one a two and so on, yeah? and we take its sum a i, yeah? meaning a one plus a two plus a three and and so on, and. Of course, there are like um, many questions we can ask about about this sum. So, for example, uh, how big is such a sum? Uh, is it is it finite? Is it infinite? How large is it? Or does does this sum make some sense at all? Or is it uh, like it doesn't give you any, any reasonable number? Yeah. Uh, so, so for example, like we can consider like some one plus. 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and so on. So sum of infinite arithmetic series and we can easily see that th this sum is equal to, to infinity. This is uh, larger than any natural number and the reason is that every term in the sequence is at least one. So if you sum enough of them you will get get over any any value you, you think of. Yeah? So, so this is plus infinity. Another example, which we will see later, is for example, we take something called geometric series. Um, so 1 plus 1 half plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 and, and so on. And this is actually finite. This gives you exactly exactly 2. And so you can imagine that you have like a, a rectangle of uh, size 1 times 2, so the first, and we will like, uh, take sub rectangles of, of this, of this uh, big rectangle here, so first term is of size 1, so this will be a square like this, uh, so we already took half of this rectangle, now the other term will be half of the, of the remaining part, and every other term is always half of the remaining part. So if we put these rectangles together like this, they will always be smaller. They will always be able to, to, to be put inside this rectangle one, ti one times two, therefore the sum is at most two. But we will get as close as we want to the sum equal two. Now, so therefore this, this sum has to be equal to. Um, one more example, if we just take tiny little numbers, instead of some fractions one over something, we take all of them, like this, one, uh, one half plus one third plus one four and so on. This is just slightly more bigger, not, not so much, but in fact this is something called harmonic series. And it is large. It's, is it as big as, as necessary? Yeah, so harmonic series. Yeah, so like uh, the difference between the two series is, is quite uh, quite huge. You can uh, clearly see this is either this is uh, uh, going to infinity, and this this is uh, this is just uh, something finite. But difference between the other two two series are um, are not so large uh, okay one more one more example which is which was uh, kind kind of exam kind type of example which like uh, many mathematicians of the puzzle are not able to understand uh, is the following consider sum of one 
minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 and so on yeah uh, this is the only only moment in the in the today's lecture we're going to use negative terms in the sum but i think it's a good example to show it so there are some problems with this so what we can do is to use the following idea okay so we group the numbers into pairs now like this yeah and now every pair is 1 minus 1 equals 0 so in fact we have 0 plus 0 plus 0 and so on this is nothing difficult this is just 0 okay now let me do the group let me uh, group these numbers in some some different way so for example what we can do is to take the first one as it is and now we take plus minus one plus one now we take the second and the third number plus the fourth and the fifth number and so on now this is this thing here uh, this thing here is again equal minus one plus one equals zero so now we have one plus zero plus zero plus so on which is nothing else than one uh, so you can sum this series in one way as zero and in another way as one so what is the real sum and this was some kind of example which like many mathematicians started to think okay this doesn't make any sense because one you can get zero the other way you can get one and if you smart it in some if you sum it in some smarter way then you will obtain something else so you should never never sum in finite series but the correct answer is that sum does not exist we can't sum a series like this but uh, there is no reason why we can't some other series yeah so we will, we will define the sum sum in uh, formula in a second but uh, does not have to to exit exist always yeah okay so how we can define it formally we can define the sum using using uh, limit like like the idea is that we have sequence a1 a2 a3 and so on yeah. and we will consider something called partial sums in uh, meaning sn will be sum of the first n numbers yeah. so a1 plus a2 2 plus a n and now we will look at this new sequence sn and these are the partial sums and what we require is that after some time we will get closer and closer to some fixed number yeah so sn gets closer and closer to some number a yeah? and then sum exists and if a is equal plus infinity if this asset is growing and grow, growing unboundedly then this uh, sum is infinite and uh, we say that the sum diverges uh, we also say that the sum diverges if it does not exist so this term uh, means that it either either not exists or is infinity okay um, or maybe like smaller than plus infinity meaning like some finite number and then the series converges uh, so yeah, so the there exists some some finite finite sum. Mm, what does mean uh, what does mean this uh, thing here? Uh, this is something from um, from the last last lecture. Uh, this is other way how to write that 
limit of Sn for n grow going to infinity is equal equal a. This is exactly what we want. As n gets larger and larger, the sum gets closer and closer to the value of a. Yeah. Okay. So now we reduce the problem of, of summing a series to to finding limits of, of some some sequences. So um, so it should not be not be so difficult. Um, surprisingly for me, uh, like many many students have. Uh, much uh, larger problems with um, in finite series than with uh, finding limits of functions or, or sequences. Yeah, so it's it's not very difficult, and I find actually this to be to be quite uh, quite beautiful piece of piece of mathematics. So we will start with some examples now. So let's. Let's take a look at uh, this, this specific series, geometric series, and we will, we will take a look how to how to prove that it, uh, it converges in in some cases. Huh? Okay, so so what we are going to do is, um, is to define geometric series. And solve when when it converges and when it diverges. So we consider a series such that a n is q to n. Uh, so q is is parameter, and we will consider this this series uh, sum of a n. So in the in the previous example, we, we considered q equal one half. And then we, we like discuss why why it converges uh, converges see. Um, yeah uh, so uh, now we are going we are going to talk about uh, geometric series in in, in general so yeah, like uh, there is one one way uh, you can you can use to derive some formula what the, what is the sum it, we are interested about doing it exactly, so we can we can work like this. So suppose that some a n converges. Yeah. So then some a n is equal to some value x. Yeah. So this value x is unknown value. But what does it hold? We, if we take x and multiply it by q, yeah, then we have what? x is equal a1 plus a2 plus a3. Um, yeah, probably we want we want also a0, uh, but uh, it's uh, just like small difference. Um, yeah, we would like to start with uh, with term one and not q, uh, but yeah, okay, like this times q. But this times q, like every term times q, will become the following term of the sequence. Uh, so this is nothing else than a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 and so on. So the only thing which is missing here is a0. But it, it's not very difficult to see uh, what this is. This is nothing else than x minus a0 meaning x minus 1. So we derive that x times q is equal x minus 1 or in other words if we, if we put x on one side then we will have 1 over 1 minus q. So we derive that some of this of this series is 1 minus uh, 1 over 1 minus q. Um, which is uh, true if the series a n converges. So 
if if we would know that uh, for which values of q it converges,